Another off-speed pitch, and the count is full. Here it comes. There's a line shot. That's a base hit for Ziegler into right field. Grabbed by Brookmeyer on a couple of hops. And there's the first hit, first base runner for the Disciples. And with two outs, that will bring Josh Peterson to the plate. 13 of those have been walks, and that's what's been killing the Disciples. There's a rocket down the left field line. It is a fair ball. It goes all the way to the wall. Ziegler rounding second, headed for third. He's being waved home. And the relay throw from Daniel Sanchez to the plate. Ziegler tripped the throw, the slide. And I think interference was called, and that means Ziegler scores. It is one to nothing, Disciples. Palacios. 1-0. There's a line drive, left center field. That is a base hit. Bossel over to cut it off. And Florian Goodson starts things off with a base hit for the Soling and Alligators. The line drive single to left center. Let's see if he's up there to bunt. Does not show it, takes a strike. There goes Goods to second base. Palacios' throw is kicked away as it ricocheted off Goods. He's going to get up and go to third base. And I think Goods had caught the infielders by surprise. No one was covering second base on that. That'll be a stolen base, and it's going to be an error probably on the throw. With nobody out, the one-strike pitch. The ground ball slowly hit to Peterson. Nice play. He looks the runner back. Throws to first in time, one down. Bottom of the first, the 0-2. Breaking ball and swing and a miss, and the bat goes flying up against the backstop. And Layton is gone for the second out of the inning. There's a 2 1. A ground ball slowly hit to Ziegler. He gloves it, takes his time, and throws to first in time. And Gabe Sanders is with a heck of a job, stranding the runner on third with nobody out. Gets out of the first inning without a run scoring, is the pitch to Bossel. A little slow roller to short. Daniel Sanchez charges, and it hits off the heel of his glove, and everybody's going to be safe. Erickson back to third as he almost rounded too far, and Sanchez alertly flipping behind him. There goes Basel from first, swing and a miss, strike three, and the inning is over, so it doesn't matter. Flying in. Gabe in the first game pitched eight and a third. He walked four, struck out nine. And a time, and now a balk has been called, and Gabe can't believe it. And Josh Peterson wants to know what's going on, as does Mitch Stefan. I have to admit, I did not see what that was, but a balk has been called. And Sandersius comes to the plate. Strike three, a fastball right down the middle. Stefan's caught looking, and the inning is over, and the crowd goes silent. No runs. Gabe's one strike pitch, swung on and grounded right back to Gabe with an acrobatic snag, and he throws to first. He does that all the time. One out. Here's the pitch from Sandersius. A ground ball to the shortstop, Siegler. He fields it, throws to first, low, and yeah. Stefan couldn't scoop it. The ball hit the runner. Here comes Daniel Sanchez. We are tied. Yeah. Yeah. Threw it low. So now Brookmeyer on first, and here's Dustin Hughes, who struck out his first time. And now Sandersis has been called for a balk again. And the Disciples are uh, Trying to be beside themselves, Tarek LeBlanc called that. I guess he's saying Gabe didn't come to a stop. So now the second balk that has been called is 2-1. There's a fly ball to deep center field. A lot of room out there as Basel racing way back into deep left center, and he makes a nice, nice running catch. That ball hit bit very deep, but it's about 420. So I'm going to have to see it to believe it if somebody hits it over that fence. Hughes did not. Strike the count to Seti. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Bossel hitting a low fastball over the head of the third baseman, Dominic Wolf. Down a short lead, another long hold by Metzger, and now he comes to the plate. A big chopper left to the mound. It's going to be a tough play, and it goes off of Wolf's glove. Everybody is safe, and that'll be most likely an infield base hit for Palacios. Like to win it. There's the 0-2. Line drive, a base hit. And Bossel will be held at third base. And an 0-2 pitch from Metzger, and again, he got too much of the plate, and now Josh Peterson gonna come up to the plate with the bases loaded. Slow curve, and he hits a line drive to center field. That's gonna drop for a base hit. Bossel will score. It is two to one disciples on the RBI single by Josh Peterson on a hanging breaking ball. Tomorrow setting up the target outside. Here's the pitch. A line drive, base hit to left field. Palacios will score, and now Siegler is held at third. It is three to one disciples. Another base hit, another RBI. And here comes another payoff pitch to Erickson. Swing and a miss. He got him with a high fastball strike three. That is the third strikeout for Metzger, and that's 
Sets up outside. Here comes the 0-2. Strike three, fastball in the inside corner. Selsmeyer was set up on the outside corner, but actually had to come back a little bit towards the center of the plate to catch that one. His credit has been very relaxed back there. Selsmeyer showing bunt, and he bunts it right back to Gabe, who's going to go to second for one. Throw to first. Two. It's a double play, and the inning is uh, there are two outs. 3-2. Swing and a miss for strike three, and the inning is over. It turns into a 1-2-3 inning down and on the corners. And he's been missing those spots today. But right there he didn't. That one is strike three called. Fastball at the knees. And strike three is called. And that's strike three. Fastball right down the middle. Metzger strikes out the side, and the Disciples had a one swing in the bunch. That was the 0-1 pitch. There's a ground ball, base hit in the left field. So Dominic Wolf gets a base hit. That's the second hit of the Alligators. That's for a reason to explode. The 0-2. Breaking ball. This one goes to the backstop past Palacios and taking second base is Wolf. That'll be a wild pitch. The pitch. Another breaking ball. This one blocked by Palacios. He has trouble getting the grip on the ball and Wolf will take third. Well, that's going to go as another wild pitch, but Palacios probably had a chance to throw out Wolf, but he tried to grip the ball and couldn't quite do it on first try and play. Here's the 3 2. And it's low, just barely outside, ball four. A close pitch. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to the right side, and it's past the glove of Mitch Stefan for a base hit. Layton takes the turn. He's headed to third. The throw to third from Erickson is not in time, and Aaron Sanchez will take second base. So it is three to two on the RBI single by Daniel Sanchez, his second hit of the entire series. Strikes to Nils Hartkopf. And a ground ball. Base hit to left field. The game is tied. Sanchez will be held at third as Nicoligi comes up throwing the ball to the plate. And the ball is backed up by uh, Sandersius as it bounced past Palacios. The game is tied at three. Still dancing around, and Gabe comes to Hughes. In the dirt, goes to the screen. Sanchez will score. Solingen leads four to three. And Harpkup is going to go all the way around second base, but decide to stop there. A wild pitch. Three wild pitches in the inning. Wild pitches. That's really been the killer, the one strike. Line drive, base hit up the middle into center field. In to score is Hartcup. It is 5-3 on the RBI single by Sasha Steffens. And there's the pitch, the swing and a line drive left field. Nicolici long run, it's going to be past him. And the base hit goes all the way to the wall. Stritzek being waved around third. He's coming to the plate, and he is going to score easily as the relay throw is very late. It's an RBI double for David Selsmeyer. It is 6-3 Solingen. First inning. Ziegler is two for three. And he lines one down the right field line. That is going to be a base hit into the corner. Palacios takes the turn. He will head to third. Ziegler will stop, however, at first base. So it's a single for Chris Ziegler, and here come the disciples. Josh Peterson is going to come up to the plate representing the tying run. Breaking ball hit in the air to right field. Brookmeyer backpedaling, and he circles under it, makes the catch. Palacio comes home from third. He will score easily. It's a sack fly for Peterson, and the score is now 6-4. to four. Josh has got three RBIs in the game. And he hits one off the fist to short right field. Long run for Brookmeyer, and he dives, and he did not catch it. It's a, oh, the umpire signaled out. He did make the catch. Brookmeyer made the catch, and he thinks there's three outs. There's only, oh, it's a double play. Sorry, because Ziegler was running. He thought that ball wasn't caught. Ziegler is doubled off. It's an easy double play. That's going to be a nine unassisted, unassisted double play. But to leave him out there. There's a line drive, base hit down the line. Brookmeyer is going to score. Hughes is racing around third. He will score. Nicolici throws the ball into Peterson. It's a two-run double. And Solingen leads eight to four. Little liner off the end of the bat. Feinberg didn't hit it all that hard. Fly ball, left field. Nicolici going back. Stritzek is tagging. Nicolici with the catch, and he's going to make the throw to third base. And Stritzek will score. Sack fly for Dominic Wolf, and it is 9-4. It's a walk and three wild pitches. There's a fly ball to deep right center field. Bossel going way back, way back in front of the wall. He makes the catch and falls down, and that's the third out of the inning. That ball was hit a long way towards the triangle in right center field. 
They have not been able to cash in the 2-2. There's a line drive over a second. That's going to be another base hit, the 14th one. And Palacio starts things off with a base hit. The one-two pitch to Ziegler. Broken back ground ball up the middle to Tanner Layton. It takes a bad hop, but he stays with it. Flips to second one. The throw to first is not in time. They do get the out at second base. However, 14 and two for the Disciples. Josh swings and pops it up right side. Brookmeyer drifting over into right center field. Waits for it. There's the second out. There's the 1-0. There's a line shot. That's a fair ball, a base hit down the right field line. Siegler's going to go to third base. Mitch is going to stop at first. And the Disciples are alive, and it will bring up Ty Erickson. His confidence will be even higher next year, I assume. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball, right center field. Brookmeyer way back. He's got a play, makes the catch. And the game is over. The Soling and Alligators have won by a score of 9-4, to four, and they win this series three games to one. Well, neither Metzger nor Sandersis had their best day, but in the end of the end of the day, it came down to depth. The Alligators, knowing that they have Hughes and Marquez in that bullpen, the Disciples were somewhat hindered by the finger injury to Lucas Steinlein, who was not really going to be at 100 percent if they put him in. So they left Sandersis out there as long as they could have. And Gabe just ran out of gas after throwing about 110 pitches. He turned in an excellent outing for five plus innings, but then the Alligators stringing together a bunch of hits for a five run rally, took the lead in the sixth inning and they never looked back. Final score, the Solingen Alligators, nine runs, 12 hits, two errors. And the Hard Disciples, four runs on 15 hits and two errors.